Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duel of Soul Hack. It's me, Cooper. And today, we're going to be entering the campaign, and we're going to go back and bully Mako right now. He's the only one to ever beat me? Another duel! In the last duel, I figured out what cards you have in your deck. Yes, you did! So does that mean you're going to outplay me now, or does that mean you're going to still fall behind? Let's find out together. I've noticed fighting Mako that his monsters aren't typically a big deal, but his back row is really good. Like, he has some okay monsters here and there, but overall he's not a big deal. I could dispel to stop this problematic card, but... There's more problematic stuff in his deck than that, so I should just add Mystical Elf and let it happen. Alright, I draw. Giant Soldier, okay. Just buy, your, buy yourself some time. He's doing the same thing, but I'm not scared of Kaiushin. I am scared of Penguin Soldier. He has good effect monsters, I forgot. If he has anything, it's good effect monsters. I'll play Neo to see if he flips. I don't think they know how. But, it, you know, it's good to good to test the waters. <laughs> Get it? He's a water deck. Alright, we're going to go ahead and play Urba. No, we're going to play Crawling Dragon number 2 because... A lot of his monsters do have 1500 defense, and Urbi has low value in this duel. So, hopefully I don't hit Penguin Soldier right now. Oh, Great White, that's one of his better cards. Uh, now I hope I do hit Penguin Soldier to get rid of it. Jellyfish, okay. I got rid of one of his good defenders, that's the good news. I'm surprised he didn't play that Great White in attack mode earlier. Jellyfish, a little weird of a card to reborn, but you do you. Mmm, okay, if you did that to Grey White, I would have ca called it a better play. And, well, you had to play it in attack mode for me to... You're a weird one. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something nice to say. Nah, he's just weird. What a weird guy. Um, I'm actually willing to summon Giant Soldier Stone. This duel is enough for defense. And I will play my Urbi, why the hell not? I might as well get ready. I, like I said, I'm gonna get bounced soon. Your Steel Shell just made your guy... Oh, he's not weak enough, but he, he's even weaker now. So, let's just go in. Alright, Giant Soldier. I know you can't beat Fiend Kraken or Jellyfish, but find someone other than those two. Yeah, like Rootwater. You can beat Rootwater. Ah, good times with Rootwater. That guy was my boss monster for such a long time in Capsule Monsters. And I know that sounds like a joke, but no, he was legitimately a great card. I killed the Blue Eyes with it. Penguin! There it is! I got it last. That's perfect. That was the perfect time to hit Penguin Soldier. And um, it sucks for the AI that they only use its effect once. Like, not for me. I love that they only use its effect once for me, but you know what I mean. It sucks that the AI can't do it right. Alright, well, I feel like I'm going to end this duel, so... Let's take a look at what they were hiding, just out of curiosity. Is it Tornado Wall? It is. Alright, figured. I, I, like to, I like to understand what my opponent does. So we're just going to go ahead and summon our unstoppable summon skull. And then we're going to give it a horn of the unicorn. And then we're going to beat down my opponent's life points. As the only monster they took away from my field was my weakest one. The rest of them are actually pretty freaking strong. And uh, can maybe do up to 4800 damage. Just maybe. Yeah, exact damage. <laughs> I won him one turn. That would be an OTK, baby. OTK. Alright, Mako. I'm ready for you now. See how I have no fear in my heart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I win because I'm good. Have you managed to reinforce your deck? Did you know that you could select... Oh, there's a new booster pack. Thank God. Alright, where is it? Oh, interesting. Alright, yeah. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Um, These two can attack directly. I'm good. Leo Gun is fun, I guess. Feralimp is iconic, I guess. I like I like Feralimp out of all these. Rainbow Flower in them. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Oh, thanks for the new pack, I guess. That's kind of nice. Uh, but now that I have a new pack, I'm going to start dueling everybody again. I'm going to duel. Let's go with Rex Raptor. I'm a big fan of Rex Raptor, after all. And I'm going first. 100% going first. Alright, I draw. Magic Jammer's pretty nice. Call Haunt's pretty nice. I have a Defender to open the duel. I do love that. I don't have any Tributes. I don't like that. It's weird, but I like starting the duel with at least one Tribute in my hand. 
No more than no more than two. Even that sounds like a lot. Um, I would like to keep my uh, Call of the Haunted, so I'm going to magic jammer that MST. Uh, I don't think I need D-Spell against Rex Raptor. He's not that scary when it comes to spell cards. Ooh, that's, what, that's his ace monster. Luckily, my Spirit of the Harp can hold it back. I don't really know how she's holding it back, but she, she found a way. Alright. His monster, his ace is better than every card I own right now, so you know what? Your ace is worth stealing. I'm going to actually snatch steal it. I typically wouldn't, but because it's your ace and you, you know, fawn it over it so much, so will I. Oh, look at this. I got your monster. Two head. Now he's more two faced because he's betrayed you. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Come on. What are you going to do about it? You're in trouble. Come on, Rex Raptor. You're, what, the finalist runner up kind of guy. You should, you should be doing better than this. Shit. I should have I should not have mocked him. I should not have mocked him. Oh crap. I need to draw one of my better cards. Yep, that's one of my better cards. That'll do. I summon Neo, the magic swordsman. But Mr. Two Head over there has got four heads now, so that's gonna be a little problematic. Luckily I can hit cut them in half. Alright, now there's only two heads to deal with, but if he gets Mega Zowler, I might be in a bad spot. Nope, Sword Arm, but that's also pretty bad. Sword Arm of Dragon beats Neo the Magic Swordsman, and I'm not going to be able to beat that Sword Arm without one of my own tributes. Heart of the Cards. Yeah! I summon the Palm King! Yes, tribute versus tribute. This is a really back and forth duel, actually. You think you're the man? Let me show you what's true power. You may have more defense than my monster, but I got more attack. Shit. This guy just has everything. All the limited to one cards are in his opening. Oh my god, that's such a good card. I want that card so badly. The things I would do for the rat. The things I would do. Uh, I kind of want him to tribute it, honestly. I do not want to have to destroy it. Damn it. <gasps> Little D! Oh god. I gotta be careful when Little D's out and about. Okay, trap card is a little worrying. I could try to get Irby to get hit by the trap card. Okay, he didn't. Oh, let's find out if it's Mirror Force. I don't want a monster aboard my pumpkin into death. Little D versus Irby. I'm your evolved form. Ah, you held me back. So yeah, if you're playing uh, Poke Duel, which um, I, I, I really love that game, you got yourself Little D here, and then he becomes an Irby, and then he becomes D to B. Which, uh, lovely monster. Well, damn. Should have done that while I had the chance. I was scared of Mirror Force. Still, I got plenty of defense. He really got a lot of his limited to one cards already. Speak of the devil! Holy crap! He got them all! He got literally all of them. Luckily for me, I run a lot of defensive monsters. And Dino decks aren't known for having high attack point monsters until Black Tyranno was invented. Yeah, or I guess Dark Triceratops. Both of them were around the same time, though. So, yeah. Those two cards are pretty good. I draw. Mystical Elf, again, I love what I'm drawing right now. I just need to get a little luckier in top deck. Uh, wow, you got five monsters. I need to Regeki at this point. It's not even worth beating you in battle. I need to Regeki you. Well, that, that'll come in handy if he has a secret monster I didn't know about. Yep, can't beat me. You're definitely stronger than me, but you can't beat me. Alright, I know you could beat my Neo, but Neo's gonna do some damage to you before that happens. So, Neo, let's try to get his life points as low as possible. Let's see. I mean, I should, I should destroy his stronger cards for the sake of my life points, but nah. Let's just go for damage, like if I'm an AI. I swear I'm real, though. I'm 100% real. You've seen me on camera. I'm a real person. Mammoth Graveyard, classic. No, I'm not going to trap whole Mammoth Graveyard. He doesn't need to see the graveyard just yet. Okay, heart of the cards. <laughs> I drew it. I can't believe I drew it. You're not the only one that can draw their limited to one card. Speaking of which, I play Monster of Orn to bring back the Pump King. A card that's come back from the grave a lot today. 
just that good of a card. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and summon the Pump King. I'm gonna just go all in. There we go. I don't really need all of these people in attack mode, but I did need the Pump King to win this duel. Actually, I didn't need the Pump King, but whatever. I could do whatever I want. Alright, that was fun. I had a good time with you. Rex Raptor put up a pretty good fight in that game. But I still got him. And we got this new pack I want to try, you know, delving into. Uh, Killer Needle, if I make an insect deck, will come in handy. I did get that really good insect equip card, so this uh, is a good combo. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, I will go back to Tier 1 eventually, but I've been uh, neglecting Tier 2. So, that's why we're moving on up. Now I will whisk you off again to Insect Paradise. Alright, I don't know what's up with this guy, but he, he, he really likes his insects. I understand liking dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are cool. Insects are very interesting, but I, I would not want to touch one, like, at all. And I know what you're thinking. Cooper, does that imply you would touch a dinosaur? I would touch the shit out of a dinosaur. Like, it could be a T-Rex. I would slap it I would slap it on the leg, and then it would devour me, and that would suck, but, you know, I'd do it. Alright, let's set that. Summon Skull's pretty good. I might actually need it. I don't typically summon him this early, but I might need him. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. Wall of Illusion has so much value. Eh, whatever. Yeah, Magic Jammer is nice to have. I just, I think it's Cocoon. It isn't, but it's a good card either way. Yeah, gotta play it. Gotta play it. He's my boy. This forest could become problematic after all. Alright, I draw. Stirred Mystic's unnecessary, but I will use my Urubi. I know you beat Rex Raptor way back when, Weevil, but I'm not like Rex. I run a lot of different cards. Oh, Flying Camic here. I could have done 2,500 damage this turn. But I was scared because I wanted to not be hit by deflected damage. Once I know how weak the opponent is, I totally do it, though. But with Forest and the fact that a lot of insects have good defense, uh, it makes me not want to. Uh, I guess I can just go Stern Mystic. I, I know there's a new trap card, but... What are the odds it's Mirror Force? No way in hell. Exactly. This guy couldn't have Mirror Force to save his life. Speaking of saving lives, you have exactly a thousand life points left. So I'm going to activate a trap and I want you to use... Oh, I can't do it yet. I want you to use seven tools to just destroy yourself. I've seen AIs do it before. It's hilarious. Okay. I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted just to see if they have seven tools for the for the comedy value of it. If they have Mirror Force, that'll be a bummer, but I'll just put something in defense mode. Okay, which one of these? This, this guy has decent defense. Go in defense mode. Alright, I'm going to go for game. The comedy could cost me right now, but I have game no matter what, so I'm fine with it. Eh, I didn't lose anything. I didn't lose anything. We're fine. He bought himself one more turn, though. I'll give him that. Oh, crap! It's Goki Bore! That's a super rare card. How dare you damage me? For this, you must go back to the hand. And now I'm just gonna win the duel. Thanks for the thanks for the fun duel, buddy. I had a, I had a good time laughing with you. You know what? Just for the kick of it, I'm just gonna put a horn on my summon skull. Now he's got a lightning rod. You jerk. You threw away your Goki Bore to do that. Alright, whatever. Uh, I attack with Summon Skull for the fun of it. Getting two of these so early was so nice. So, Weeble Underwood is now going to uh, suffer a loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Insect Queen will do whatever it needs to do. Again, new pack, so let's give it some time. Oh, I got a rare! Finally, I got a good rare card! I got Suijin, one of the cards on the pack! And Soul Release can have value because people, everyone has like Monster Born and Call of the Haunted. So this card actually has some value. Oh my god. And Larvae Moth, this card is so easy to summon. That's a lie, but I said it. Alright, nope. Suijin's going in the deck. I'll throw out a different tribute monster. Um, maybe... Let's see. It has S in the name, so I better get way down here. I know I could just... Yeah, there's a way faster way to do this, but I'm already in the mood to just let this pass. Okay, where's my where's my rare card? 
Where is it? Yeah, look at that. One of the greatest cards in the game. It probably is one of the greatest, just because nobody's beating it, even by battle. So, I really hate to do this. Um, Red Eyes, I love you. I got great work out of you, but we're going to make this card our new boss monster for now. So our new boss monster is going to be Suijin for now. Just because, you know, a cool card. Weevil, thank you for giving me a cool card. Uh, let's go up against Esperoba, though. I know this is going to be tough. I had a match with this guy, and he totally can take me if he wants. Like, if I don't play safe, I could straight up lose to him. And this is really valuable against him. Skellendo is really val valuable on the first turn. D-Spell even has value against him. I like this. Good opening hand. Good opening hand. I'm going to end my turn. Let's see how he decides to play. Okay, it's probably Blast Sphere, and that's fine. I do not care if it is. Because I'm going to draw another card. Monster Born's a pretty good card. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go with Great White. I am going to believe that that's a Blast Sphere. So much so that I'm going to attack with Skellendrill. Yes, Cyber Jar! Oh my god, Esperoba's a legit good duelist. Crap. This guy's really good. Seven tools, unnecessary. Change of heart, okay. Pumpkin, bad timing. Crap. Okay, Neo at least. I can beat that. Ah, oh, crap. Oh my god. Shit. I have a trap hole. We're fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Let's just get rid of this card. Don't want to see it. The blast spheres are the ones I need to be the most afraid of. But he'll tribute one for me. Uh, proceed to main phase two. I'm not trying to discard right here. Let's let's get ourselves seven tools ready to go. I could change a heart into pumpkin if I really wanted to. So I don't have to trap hole him if I don't feel like it. But, I would lose Neo, so let's just trap hold him. It's fine. It's completely fine. I can live with this. Alright, I'm gonna just obliterate you, because I drew that monster board earlier, and now, using a Machine King against a Machine deck is just so good. It is so freaking good. You have no idea. Alright, Machine King, let's get you onto my side of the field. Oh, and you guys think I'm done? I'm not done. I know that thing's a freaking Blast Sphere. We're gonna change a heart there, Blast Sphere. What, you think I was crazy? Of course I'm gonna do it. Okay, now I got that. I'm gonna... I could get rid of the Blast Sphere forever by summoning Pumpkin on top of it, and that's probably a good idea. I'm gonna summon you. There we go, Blast Sphere is no longer... I could have also just flipped it for damage, and then it wouldn't be a problem next turn, but screw it. I'm also gonna Horn of the Unicorn. Yeah, now I got 3,000 damage on this baby. Mm, yeah, I probably could have won if I just did the Blast Sphere thing. Whatever, who cares? Although, speaking of who cares, do I want to just go all in? Yeah, let's just go all in. Yeah, let's just do that. If I would have attributed her or just went for five monsters, I probably could have won this duel. Immediately. But who cares? What matters is that I'm going to get my revenge for that Cyber Jar. Attack with Mystical Elf. I swear to God, I want you to use Mesmeric Control. Just because it'll make me laugh a little. 100% would have won this duel already, but whatever. A, okay, I'll get him next time. Plus, what is he gonna do? Destroy Mystical Elf? That's about it. That's about right. That's one of his best cards. I will give it to him. That is one of his best cards. And I will lose my Mystical Elf, and I will take a lot of damage, so good on him for how much he's doing to me. But, that's when I pull out my, no, that's when I pull out my Giant Soldier of Stone. And Giant Soldier of Stone, we got some work to do. Machine King got that extra buff because you're playing a machine monster against him. And with that buff, we're going to win this duel. Alright, what a cool card. Machine King is really cool, I hope to pull one. I'd love to make a machine deck. Alright, again, I look, new pack, we gotta enjoy it. Fake trap, yes! An actual good rare card. 
All right, what else did we get? Soul release again and Larvae Moth. Okay, this, this is good. This is going to be good. We're going to enjoy that card. I know most of you think I'm joking, but no, it's going in the deck. This card can do up to 4,000 damage. I've seen it happen. I have a YouTube short about it. Don't worry. All right, but I, I don't want to run so many spells and traps, so I think I'm going to hit something. Let's hit... It's not even that many spells and traps now that I look at it. I, actually, there's a statistics thing. How many do I have? I only have 18. I, I'm fine. I can I can run 18. Even in this game, that's fine. A uh, card that needs to be... I think Irby's finally on the chopping block. Yeah, let's go with Irby on the chopping block. We've had some fun with him, but it's okay. Um, I think we're going to end it off today. I know I've been working on Tier 2, but we're going to give Tier 1 another duel. We're going to uh, duel... Yugi. Yeah, I know, I know. He's going to be tough, but I, I could beat him. Ha-ha! I know what I'm doing. Alright, seven card fish. Good draw. Uh, lots of my defensive cards. That makes sense. I do own more defense than offense at the moment. Eventually, I'll get some more off offensive cards. I just haven't drawn many. Mammoth Graveyard, a legendary card. I've seen that card infect the Blue Eyes Ultimate. I know that doesn't make much sense, but neither did Season 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Change of Heart could be used, but it wouldn't have much value. Um, I think I'm just going to go with my 7-card fish early. I typically don't want to go with my best card because Yu-Gi is known for always having Dark Hole when he needs it and cards of that caliber. But, oh, god damn me, Karibo. But, if I play Giant Soldier, I'll probably play like one of his better normal monsters. Oh, yep, it happened. I, I told you. I told you. I knew it was coming. And I was right. Celtic Guardian. That would have beat Giant Soldier of Stone. So I'm still glad I went for the play I went for. All right. Let's see if I draw something else. Do you spell for later? Yeah. All right. Well, Spirit of the Heart for now. That's fine. He already read Gekid. So what else could he possibly do to me? He got his own Giant Soldier of Stone. And I do need to kill that before it gets to de defense mode. My deck would struggle to kill that thing in defense mode. Heart of the cards. Damn it. In order to kill it, I'd have to destroy one of my own monsters. I don't want to do that. It'll be fine. I'll figure another way out of this. I should be more worried about him tributing, but so far I've been lucky. And he's stuck in attack mode, so that's also good. I did say I, 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 I didn't have that many spells and traps, so we checked. I really didn't, and I drew all spells. I have 12 spells in my deck, and I'm drawing all of them, rather than the 20-something monster cards I run. And how many did I have? 17 plus 6. I took one out. 17 plus 5. That is 22 monster deck, is it? I don't know how to do math. I stopped doing math a long time ago. Yep, 22. I could Raigeki, but let's just play it safe. I want to wait till he tributes. That's a cool card. I hate to admit it, but I really like Guy of the Fierce Knight. I, I would love to get one of those. You get me one of those, I'll actually run it. Okay, game. I get it. Alright, I don't want to do this because he'll probably just Monster Born or something, but... Like, if I don't do this now, my last defense is gone, and the game is actually... I drew o o more than half of the spell cards that exist in my deck. Because we saw there are 12, which is a typical amount. Um, and we drew more than half of them. That's insanity. So we got Neo here. Neo's a good guy, and we're going to use him. And we're just going to try and get through Yugi's defense. But he's got Mystical Elf and stuff, so we got to watch out. Oh, damn it. Well, he only picks one monster, right? So it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, this is fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. That's I, I just reset it, and they won't even think it's the same monster and do deflected damage. So it works. <sighs> oh, at least you penguin soldiered me. Hey, Celtic Guardian. I'm not even mad. Every time I see Celtic Guardian, it puts a smile on my face. All right, Celtic Guardian. As much as I'm happy to see you, I need to get something else. Man or bug? No. Giant Soldier can hold back most things except like... Well, there's one big guy I couldn't hold back, but there's no way he has a summon skull. Exactly. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, we got Mystical Elf in attack mode. We're in a really good spot now. We can get rid of one of his most dangerous defenders. I got another Neo. Love it. Love when that happens. 
Starting to get all monster cards now, which is actually what I need. I don't need a defender anymore. I got a man ear bug for emergencies. No, let's go safe. Yep, there we go. You deal with the problematic monster. And then you deal with the average monster. That's just a really cool card from the past. He ain't gonna, you know, match up with me, but he's still cool. Gotta love the Celtic Guardian. So I'm gonna end my turn there. We're gonna see what our opponent tries to do against that. And we're gonna set. All right, we got our opponent setting on us. I'm gonna draw a card. I got Sui Jin, and I'm gonna use it because that's our new boss monster. Who wouldn't use their new boss monster when they get the chance? I'm gonna activate Change of Heart. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Penguin, he got two penguin soldiers? Your mom lets you have two? That's just cheating. All right, Giant Soldier, we're proud of you. And of course, Penguin Soldier, we're proud of you. A lot of soldiers. But our new boster, mo boss monster, Sui Jin, is here. Bonster is what I just called it, and that sounds hilarious. The Bonster goes in. Sui Jin, the strongest card in my deck. Let's end this duel together. Yeah! And that is the end. I have defeated my opponent, Yugi Muto. You're a tough kid, though. You're a tough kid. Yeah. Alright. Last time buying this, then we'll mix up the packs again. <gasps> I got Black Skull Dragon! My favorite card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! I got it! I just need Polly, but Polly requires 20 victories on Yugi. Oh my god. Somebody send me your Polly. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm just, I got Black Skull. I got freaking Black Skull Dragon. Life is good. Life is good. And next week, not only are we probably going to have, or tomorrow, we're going to have a weekend duel. We're also going to have a weekly Yu-Gi-Oh! magazine opening. Guys, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.